So, the brand new Mac Studio. Will it be coming with an M4 Ultra and even the possibility of an M4 Extreme? And also, when is it going to come out? So, that's right guys. This year in 2024, especially at WWDC or even in springtime, we did not see the announcement of a brand new Mac Studio whatsoever. And it looks like Apple have completely missed out the likes of having an M3 Max or an M3 Ultra inside of it this year. So today we're going to talk more about when we're going to get our hands on the brand new Mac Studio and also we're going to talk about any kind of design changes or anything like that that could be coming along to it too. And first of all let's actually talk about that. So if you know your history already the Mac Studio got introduced in 2022. It came along at a spring event and essentially a lot of people are saying it is the replacement for the 27 inch iMac or the iMac Pro and personally I actually missed the 27 inch iMac and I do really hope that that or say a 13 inch iMac comes along and if you do want to check out more information of when that possibility could actually still happen do check out the video what's just above me right now but talking about the actual Mac Studio yeah in a day it's a bit like a Mac Mini now it's a, one of those devices that you bring all your own equipment to it you just literally get a Mac Studio in the box now you've got to bring your own keyboard your own mouse and you also got to bring your own monitor too. Don't get me wrong, Apple have actually got a solution a bit to this. They do actually offer the brand new studio display, what is also quite expensive to buy alongside a Mac Studio, but you do have this offering. When the Mac Studio came out, essentially it's about two and a half times the size of a Mac Mini, but the dimensions, you know, in the actual sort of width and also the actual length are about the same. It's just mainly the height. And the main reason behind that is because the Mac Studio has some really beefy fans inside of it to keep the actual M series chipsets inside of it nice and cool. We got the introduction of the M1 Max and also the M1 Ultra also got added into this line back in 2022. And what the M1 Ultra essentially is, it's two M1 Maxes stitched together and that gives us double the amount of performance on average compared to what you got with the M1 Max. Obviously there are some sacrifices and things like that along the way, but overall this is the most powerful of the M series that you can buy right now is the Ultra chipset. And then in 2023, we actually got an update to the Mac Studio. We got the likes of the M2 Max and we also got the likes of the M2 Ultra put inside the Mac Studio. Again, very similar idea. The M2 Ultra is essentially two M2 Maxes bolted together and gives us really great performance there. But it looks like going into 2024 or even into 2025, as you'll see in the minute, the actual design doesn't look like it's really going to be changing. Remember, we've only had two generations with this Mac Studio at the moment. So if there are going to be any changes, the only thing I'd probably say that probably could happen, as you can see in some of these renders here, is that we could actually see a new space black color introduced to the Mac Studio, along with the silver color that we have right now. This is probably the only sort of change we're going to get we're probably not going to get any new additional ports or anything like that this is probably fundamentally it next of all though you're probably wondering well what kind of chipset are going to go inside of it well obviously it looks like the m3 journey has already come to an end and it's not going to be continuing on and we're on to the m4 journey as the m4 ultra traditionally normally comes out or the m ultra series comes traditionally out at the end it just looks like that the mac studio could be one of the last devices to actually get an update and if you can see this report right here it looks like according to mark german the earliest we're probably actually going to get yourself an m4 ultra could be at wwdc in 2025 and also the m4 max in a mac studio this would mean that it'll probably be a two-year gap altogether when we'll get ourselves a brand new mac studio well, it's a bit crazy to think but not unheard of because the likes of say the mac mini did something very similar here where we had about a two-year gap between the m1 to the m2 and then the same now from the m2 going up to the m4 it's going to be around about two years or so kind of gap there and it looks like apple wanting to do this with their sort of desktop lines going forward definitely so yeah what i would say is it's probably looking likely if you want to get your hands on the new mac studio you're probably gonna to have to wait out to wwdc 2025 so probably around about june july next year or possibly a little bit later on than that that is when we'll be able to get our hands actually on this 
But something what will happen before the release date of the new Mac Studio is the giveaway we're doing on this channel for this. This here is an iPad Pro 13 inch with an M4 inside of it. 512 gigabytes of storage and I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky subscriber on this channel at the end of September time this year and all you guys need to do to enter into the possibility of winning this iPad Pro is just put down in the comments below what technology you're hoping to get in 2024 whether this is Apple related or not put it down in the comments below the other thing that I would also say though guys is make sure that you're also subscribed on this channel by subscribing and hitting that notification bell because like I said this is going to one lucky subscriber and the other reason behind it is because when I make that announcement near the end of September time you won't want to miss out on that and there will be a little video just before the live stream I do for this giveaway and there is going to be a little form to fill in a few more other details about the actual giveaway too so you won't want to miss out on that the other thing I just want to quickly point out to you guys is I'm also going to be giving away one of these two this here is a magic keyboard to go alongside this 13 inch iPad Pro and I'll be giving this to as a bundle with the one lucky person who gets their hands on both of these together so that's really really awesome the other thing I just want to quickly say guys sadly there are still lots of spammers and scammers out there people still impersonating me you know telling you to whatsapp telegram part with money for postage and things like this please do ignore these people guys because obviously they're just scamming you for money for postage and things like this or better still, as you can see right here, please do report them. So moving on then, what about the M4 chipset? What are we likely going to see, or the M4 SOC? Well, like I said, it's most likely going to be the M4 Max and the M4 Ultra, and the possibility of that M4 Extreme. As I spoke about earlier, the Mac Studio has really powerful fans inside of them. And to be deadly honest, if you own yourself an M1 Max or an M1 Ultra or even the M2 sort of series in the Mac Studio, it's not often that actually these fans even kick in. So there is the potential that obviously more powerful, more beefier sort of chipsets could actually go inside of this machine. So with that, if we do get the M4 Max and the M4 Ultra, like I said, it's going to be super powerful. It's going to be literally more powerful than we have with the M3 Max what is incredible right now and especially with the M4 Ultra it's going to be two of the M4 Maxes stitched together but for the amount of cores you might be wondering because I'm kind of walking around the edge of that at the moment well we don't actually know last time with the M3 Max we did not expect the amount of CPU cores or the amount of GPU cores that Apple put inside of it it was a big shocker for us and this time around Apple could do a very similar sort of situation with the M4 Max where they could work out how many cores they want to throw in on CPU and GPU but all I would say is that the M4 Ultra will be double the amount of cores whatever the M4 Max offers when that does come out so we do look towards the M4 Max coming out in the lights of the MacBook Pro 14 and 16 inch coming out probably the end of 2024 early 2025 to get an idea of what the M4 Ultra could look like the other possibility is that Apple could release their brand new M4 Extreme chipset built from the ground up or the possibility that this could even be four M4 Maxes stitched together inside one machine and this would be the ultimate sort of god kind of Mac out there and the idea of this could actually even go into the likes of an updated Mac Pro 2 but we'll just have to wait and see because there hasn't been too many leaks and rumors about that but I'm sure as the future unravels here and as we get closer to the release of the new Mac Studio more details if a M4 Extreme is going to come about will actually show itself to us but with that guys that is the latest and greatest we have on the Mac Studio are you excited for it are you going to be waiting out or are you going to get yourself of an M2 series Mac Studio right now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And also guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. Also, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell too. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye bye.